Tell me what is a cross site scripting attack? How would you defend against it? We hit a roadblock and it was interesting. Be ready to be peppered with technical questions like these. Remember, slow and steady wins the race. Check India. If you reach out to your friends playing pretend as grown ups to prepare you for your interview, we have something better for you that won't ruin your friendships either. So, the best way to boost your confidence right before an interview by practicing your answers in a timely fashion. Before we dive in, hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and of course, give us a thumbs up. Let's start now. Hi, please be seated. Hi. Thank you for coming in and your interest in the company. Let's get started. Can you tell us about your technical certifications and how they have equipped you for this role? Rather than going on a monologue, giving a list of all the skills you have, support an example of your best skills to prove your ability. Describe your role in a capstone project you've completed or how you troubleshoot problems at your tech internship. Ever since I decided that cybersecurity is where I see myself, I have armed myself with several certifications to better understand the field. I learned CISSP while I was working at my last organization, and it was interesting to see how I could apply the skills for enhancing our network security and also managing risk. Additionally, I also know CEH, which is something I did a small course on as I face challenges with potential security vulnerabilities in our systems. Such incidents give credibility to your skills. Um, why don't you tell us a bit about the most recent project you worked on and your responsibilities in the same. Apply the STAR method here for a crisp answer. The STAR method is a format for answering questions in an interview. It stands for situation, task, action and result. You can literally apply this format to a ton of questions and you'll always have the perfect answer with the right amount of details. During my stint at the last organization, I was leading a project aimed at migrating our on-premises data center to the cloud. My role in the project was to oversee the migration system, managing timelines and the ensure security best practices. Go chronologically and hit these four points. While working, we hit a roadblock with latency issues and it posed a major threat to our project timeline. As a project lead, I was responsible for realigning our migration strategy by implementing phased rollouts and conducting extensive pre-migration testing for each phase. I facilitated daily stand-up meetings and closely monitored the migration process. We not only resolve the downtime issue, but also enhance the team's ability to adapt to unforeseen challenges. What are the programming languages you know or have worked on? I am good in Python, which is something I was practicing every day by developing a series of automated data analysis tools for my team. Again, rather than just giving a list of all the languages you know, go into detail about the ones you're best equipped with. Throw in how you did a certification to simplify your task at your previous internship or how your proficiency in one particular language immensely impacted the deliverables of your college project. Additionally, I have also dipped my toe in JavaScript when I took on the task of enhancing the user interface of our internal web applications. Remember, stories and instances stick. Lists fade away. Tell me what is a cross-site scripting attack and how would you defend against it? Be ready to be peppered with technical questions like these. Present the answer through an easy definition supported by an example to show your deep understanding of the concept. A cross-site scripting attack is when attackers inject malicious scripts into content from otherwise trusted websites. Take a moment to think of an instance before responding. When I was working on enhancing our web application security, I implemented content security policies and sanitized all user input to defend against such attacks, effectively preventing any unauthorized script from executing. Describe the troubleshooting process you'd use for a crashing program and how would you debug a program while it's being used? 
with such behavioral questions provide concrete examples and remember to describe the scenario and apply it to the position you are interviewing for. For debugging a program in use, I employ live debugging tools like remote debugging sessions ensuring minimal disruption. This approach was crucial when I identified and fixed a memory leak in a live production system without taking the service offline. And it's a wrap. Most interviewers try to keep a balance between technical and behavioral questions. So the most important thing to do is not to rush the answer. Instead of fumbling your way through an answer, it's always better to quickly structure it in your head and then answer. We hope this helped. Now go ace that interview. And don't forget to click the thumbs up button for more. And as always, stay curious. <laughs> <laughs>